This is a Roller Team T-Line 740. This is one of the typical motorhomes you'll get if you were to hire with us. It's going to take you for a little walk around the van, show you some of the key features. So this is your fresh water tank. It's a 100 litre water tank. To fill it up, you lift up this flap, you undo the bung with the key, bring it out, pick up your hose. The hose goes in there. When it's full, the water will start to come out. So you take the hose out, turn it off. The bung goes back in, lock it up, and then close the flap. Your grey water point is located underneath the van here with this lever. So when you're emptying the grey water, you need to drive over a cattle grid, which is located on the campsite. So it'll be marked grey water area. So to empty the tank, there's a flap located underneath here. You'll pull this out, the water will start to drain. When it's finished, you just push that back and then that will close the tank back up. Your gas lock is here. This is where your gas bottles are located. So when you arrive at your destination, you need to undo the gas bottle by the valve on top by turning it anti-clockwise. And then when you're about to set off again, you need to close it by turning it clockwise. If you run out of gas, you need to change the bottle. So to do that, you undo this hose. And then you undo this on the other bottle. And then you need to put the hose back in here. So you put it in and you turn the valve towards you. Once that's in nice and tight, it's all changed over. Put the, the bung back into the empty bottle. Once that's done, you're good to go. Close the door up. You've got your electric hookup point here. So to connect your electric hookup, you get your cable from inside the van, you lift up this flap, cable will go on there like that. When you're about to leave, you need to disconnect it. You need to make sure you push this black lever down, you pull the cable out, and then you close the flap back up. Your toilet cassette is located in here. I'm going to show you how to empty the toilet cassette. So to open the door, you press in these two buttons. When you go to empty this cassette, you need to pull up this lever. It won't work if the flap on the toilet inside is open, that will get stuck. So you need to make sure you go inside and close it before you pull it out. Once it's closed, you can pull that out like so. Close the door. They have got wheels on them and the handle is located on the bottom. When you get to the toilet l sand point, you put the handle back down. You need to turn the funnel around, undo the blue cap on top. And then when you go to pour it in, you need to make sure you press down this blue button as this will allow the airflow to go through the cassette and make it easier to empty the contents. And then you pour it into the l sand point when you're finished, you get a hose, you fill it up with water, you swirl it around, and then again, pour it into the l sand point until the water's clear. When you're finished, put the blue cap back on, do that nice and tight, put the funnel back around, and then you put it back into the cassette holder. And it just slides in like so, making sure the blue clip clips back into place. And when you're finished, just shut the door. So we'll take you around the rear of the van and show you some of the key features there. So all of our vans are fitted with bike racks. They will hold four normal bikes or two electric bikes. The vans are also fitted with reversing cameras. We'd recommend you always have someone to watch you back as the cameras only have a one meter depth to them. I'm now just gonna show you where the diesel filler cap is located. Here is the diesel filler cap. You're always gonna find this on the passenger side of the van. You're going to need the ignition key to undo the cap and then when you finish you just need to lock the cap back up and show, close the door. I'm now going to take you inside and show you around there. So now we're inside the motorhome. Here is the main control panel. You've got your heating and hot water control panel just next to it and just below that you've got your fridge control panel. I'm going to show you how to use the control panel. So the first button on the control panel is the power button. You're going to have to turn this on if you want to do anything else. The next one up is labelled B1. So this is the cab battery level. Press it once, it will show the voltage level. Press it again to show the percentage. You shouldn't have to worry about this because the battery will charge when the engine's running. The second button is B2. So this is the habitation leisure battery level. Again, press it once to show the voltage. 
a second time for the percentage. If you are wild camping, you're gonna have to keep an eye on this battery level as it may drop. And this is charged through plugging it into an electric hookup. The third button on this side is your water. So S1, the blue is the fresh water tank. Press it again for R1, which is the waste water tank. And the percentage level will show you how full it is. Coming onto this side, we've got a thermometer. So this will show the temperature in the van. And then we've got a light symbol. So this is for all the interior lights of the van. Once you turn this on, you can then use your switches and you can use your TV. Then going up again, we've got the awning light. And then finally, we've got the water pump. So you need to press the water pump to use your taps and your shower. And would recommend turning that off at night as it makes a bit of a noise. I'm gonna show you how to use the heating and hot water controls. So to begin with, you press this dial in. The flashing symbol is the one that's selected. So at the moment, we've got a camper van with a thermostat in it, which is the heating. So to set the heating temperatures, you click the dial in, turn the dial to the desired temperature. Now that you've done that, the heating will start to heat up the van. So the next symbol along, we've got a thermostat, which is your hot water. So again, to select it, you press the dial in, turn the dial to eco or hot. So we would recommend that you only use hot. Once you've selected that, the symbols will flash at the top. Once it is stopped flashing, it means the water is up to temperature. To select your energy source, you go to the third dial. So you'll see a gas bottle and two electricity symbols. So select that. If you're not at a campsite and you're wild camping, you would need to use the gas. So you, the gas is the first one. If you are at a campsite and connected to an electric hookup, you would turn all the way over to ELECT2, which stands for electricity. Select that. And then the final symbol we have is of a fan. So when you get in the motor home up to temperature, we recommend you turn it to high. When you're going to bed and you just want to keep the chill off the van, we'd recommend turning it to eco and that will keep the sound of the fans down. I'm going to show you how to use the fridge controls. So to turn the fridge on, you hold this button down for a second or two. So at the moment it's showing automatic. So this means the fridge is automatically selecting its power source. So at the moment we're on a hookup. If we were to disconnect the hookup and we were to drive off, it would turn to battery. And then if we arrived at a campsite and we had no electric hookup, it would then switch itself to gas. To change the fridge mode, you hold this button down until they start flashing. So at the moment, the A is flashing. If you wanted to select electric hookup only, you'd press this arrow to move it across. And again, for battery when you're driving, and then again for setting it to gas. We always recommend that you leave it on automatic as then the fridge will control what it does itself. If you press this middle button again, you can then set the temperature of the fridge. So the higher, the more green bars there are, the colder the fridge will be. So we recommend in summer to put it on full and then to set that, you press this button again. So this small light should always remain green. If in the event it starts to flash red, it means that the fridge has no power source. This could be due to a number of things. You may have run out of gas or your electric hookup may have been disconnected. So to change the source, you can hold down this button. At the moment, you can see it's connected to an electric hookup. If you change it back to auto, press that button in again, and then you press this middle button in again to set the temperature, it will then select the appropriate source. So you can, as you can see now, the light's gone back to green and it's moved over to gas. Before beginning your journey, you need to make sure that all windows and roof lights are closed and any loose items in the cabin are tied down or safely secure. I'm in the rear of the motor home to show you where the frost protection valve is located. So this is the frost protection valve. To reset it, you may need to turn this blue dial 90 degrees and then press the button located on the back. Once you finish, you need to close up this door. Thank you for watching.